Sometimes images, especially scanned images, exhibit blemishes that you need to get rid of. And I'm not talking about things like acne. I'm talking about blemishes on the photograph itself. It could even be a digital image that maybe had uh, something wrong with it when the photograph was taken. Not information that's part of the image you want to get rid of, but something that shouldn't be there in the first place. Let's do this. Go to Bridge, File, Browse and Bridge. Open up this old image right here called Blemishes. You can see a bunch of people standing on a porch. Old photograph. But look at all the blemishes. All this stuff. Now let me show you three ways that we can get rid of these. One would be with the tried and true clone tool. It'll work. That's the one we started with. It's been there forever. It will still work. We could do maybe, oh, something like this. Let's make one of those areas a little bit bigger so we can see this. You know, like stuff like that. Don't want that there anymore. We're going to pick up the clone tool. Get a nice small brush. Again, I'm using those nice bracket keys. Don't want a really big brush here. Create a new layer. You got to do that. And make sure up here you have at least current and below selected because we're working with the layer directly below this one. That's not on. It won't work. Come over to about here. Hold down the Alt key and click. That sets your point. Now move over. You've got to stay in that same place because we've got light and dark areas. And if we get over that area, and I suppose we could do that. But it's also picking up. That's kind of hard to see. There's a very small spot right here, and it picked it up and put it over there. So we're beginning to get that duplication thing going on. So that's one way to do it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that layer. And let's bring this picture down to a little bit more normal size. Another tool. Go up to this tool right here that looks like a Band-Aid. Now you have four tools. We've got the Red Eye tool. The next two we're going to look at in this lesson are the Spot in the Healing Brush tool. Let's start with the Healing Brush tool. And the reason I want to is because that one has been in the program forever. Oh, I think even Seven had this tool. So any CS person will have that tool, but not everybody has the Spot Healing Brush tool. They work about the same. Create new layer. We always want to work in a layer. Make sure that when you get up here, it doesn't say current layer or you won't be doing anything. You either want current and below, which would work for us, or all layers because you've got a whole bunch underneath it. Either one. Choose a smaller brush. Use my little bracket keys. Like the clone tool, you have to sample an area first. But unlike the clone tool, it's only looking for information in terms of the pattern. So let's come over here, all these little pieces right in here. Say Alt-click right about here. I come over here, and as you see, it's fixing those spots as I move. It's constantly going back to the original sample. It's not moving, but as I move around, it's clearing up all these spots. Now we could even probably, using that same area, come way over here to this one and fix it or over here now remember what we're doing we're doing everything smart in a layer that's not too bad for what we've done so far so the one thing about the healing brush tool that's important to remember is that you must first alt click almost like the clone tool but it's not the clone tool it's not copying it's using pattern recognition to change the information Blend the colors into whatever's surrounding the brush and use the pattern that you selected. All right, that's another way. Let's go ahead and get rid of this and show you one more way. If you have, and I believe this is 3, 4, and 5, the Spot Healing Brush tool. Now we can still create another layer. One difference is it doesn't have that button. It just says sample all layers up here. So you want to make sure that that's selected if you are doing this in a separate layer, and I strongly recommend it. What do we do now? Well, this is the nice thing about this tool. Get it small. No selection, just rub. I call it the spot remover. Just start moving around. Doesn't matter where you go. Just kind of whistle as you work, whatever you want to do. What are these tools exactly doing? You have to ask yourself that question. Think of it this way. When I come over here and begin rubbing, I'm saying to the computer, that spot that I'm rubbing, what I want you to do is I want you to look at the surrounding area because that's okay. When I let go, I want you to fill that area in with two things. The pattern of the surrounding area 
and the color. That's why it doesn't really matter where you go when you're correcting something because all you have to do is move around and the spot healing brush tool makes the assumption that what you want to heal it with is surrounding the information. That's what makes this tool very valuable. Now use smaller brushes for smaller things. Want to get rid of that spot right there? I'll probably do it. There you go. Doesn't matter. Now it would take a bit of time to do this whole image, obviously. But the results are amazing, and we are doing it in a separate layer, which means what? Total control and non-destructive editing. What could be better?